After Five Cocktail Lounge in downtown Detroit will take you on a historic journey while serving up eclectic spirits while the modern speakeasy pays homage to Detroiters of the past. Finding its location can be a mystery, but April Morton takes us inside. I like this. I like this a lot. It's the place to kick back, enjoy a craft cocktail, and learn a bit of Detroit's nightlife history. But you gotta find it first. You turn down the corner and you're like in this back alley, right? And you're like, what? What have I got myself into? There's this bright gold door with the little greenery just hanging below. Simply ring that doorbell. But once you open that door, you're kind of transformed into the speakeasy kind of era. An era when black Detroiters flourished and owned prominent businesses in areas like Paradise Valley in Idlewild and Northwest Michigan, which allowed people of color to vacation and purchase land during segregation, many whom had Southern roots, which is how Willow got its name. Willow is the tree that you find down south. It's deep rooted, strong roots, and um, that's like that main focus here, really bringing some Southern history, Detroit history into this intimate space. The stories aren't limited to the pictures on the walls. They also come in the form of craft cocktails, with every pour being intentional and unique. This group of bartenders, our staff here, we've all come together and all of the drinks are an inclusion of everyone's ideas, everyone's kind of upbringing and our story, our personal story to tell within this space. One of those signature cocktails is the Willow Old Fashioned. I got a lesson on how to make one from bartender Samuel. We're gonna do two ounces of that bourbon and we're gonna pour it into right our mixing here. glass. Just go all the way to the top. Half an ounce of maple syrup. We are going to use the traditional Angostura bitters that come in an old fashioned. We're going to use two, two dashes of that. And we're going to switch it up and do chocolate bitters. Two dashes of that as well. Let it stir for roughly about 10 seconds. Get it nice and chilled. Now we add a signature stamp but not just for aesthetics. You want the beverage to sit, and like as you sip it longer, uh, it adds a little bit more dilution versus it being quickly diluted. We have our house stamp, Willow. Now we pour, and the zest that helps make every sip just right. We're gonna take our orange peels, a little bit of the essence, and wrap, wipe this just under where the person's gonna be sipping. To top things off, a spicy, smoky finale. The reason why we're smoking the cocktail is because we're trying to engage your first palate with that. You're gonna smell notes of cinnamon. Mm. And that's gonna help you engage mm. with the maple spice. Wow. Voila. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, that was an experience, adding to the wonders and mystery of Willow Detroit. If you would like to unlock the golden door at Willow Detroit, you must reserve a time slot. Oh, so yeah. that's it. That's it. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh. In addition to craft cocktails, the speakeasy, the speakeasy offers small bites. I feel like if you add a speakeasy, you need to have a little something to balance out all of the sipping you might be doing. 100%, because speakeasy is like nothing, like about, it's real drinking in there, it's bourbons, it's tequilas, but I gotta get under that Marvin Gaye poster, because that's another thing that reminds me of Detroit. Very cool. Motown. Dark liquor Ooh, and Bert. Marvin Gaye posters. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that Detroit? Very Detroit. It's like Detroit in the 70s. I love 60s. it. I love it.